bitch. Hey, yo, fat titty. My little sweet boy, you come to me because you're so near Vegas. No fucking work kid. Is that correct? Is that right? It's not right. So we're going to launch Sony Vagos here. It's fucking Vanos Gaming. Let's go. You probably have searched through like a million videos of like how to fix the lag. So this lag is usually seen in the preview here. It starts sometimes just like there. You can even tell from the frame counts it'll start to have troubles rendering this. And especially with very long file sizes, this used to be six hours. When the timeline is this populated, there's some issues. What? Get the get the fuck out of here, huh? Go away. So there are many ways to leave you this, and I'm gonna try to cover all of those in this one video, so you don't have to go searching for every fucking solution, boys. So step one. Of course, you got the obvious one. You probably even knew this before even entering this video. You can set your preview settings, but you, you can tell it ain't working for me in this case. Another tip here. What you could do is why, because like I said, this isn't like the final render at the end. You can downgrade this to um, a 720p at uh, whatever frames that you've made the video at. In my case, 60 here. It'll turn down the quality, of course. It'll be a little sucky to look at. But um, while, while you're editing, this is perfectly fine, I think. Not that this is an issue for me, but if you record it, for example, um, like 60 frames, this is a 60 frame clip. And if you set your video settings, this is basically what the settings you have while you edit it, not what you export it as. It also have its own separate settings. But if I set this to like 30 frames, right? It, it's going to be so much worse because it, it's trying to compress 60 frames in a second to 30. And it's just, oh my god, it's just horrific. Look at that. Oh my god. So make sure you keep an eye on that. Also, encoding types are very important. Some encoding types are horrific. You got H264. Uh, it's really highly compressed, and uh, it takes a lot of effort for Vegas to go like <laughs> and make any sense of it, right? So keep an eye on what's be what's the best. For you. <laughs> Another thing, uh, if you want to go to your options here and click preferences, fuck around with the settings here. Either set it to zero, or you can set it halfway through. Make sure it's actually using your GPU to process while you skim through the video. Uh, this should always be on. If it's not, then to, to fix that at once. Now, this is the one that affects me. You know, your you know your mileage might vary on what might work. But thumbnails to show in video events, I have this set to off, and it plays like a dream. This is especially more effective when you have a big ass timeline video. You, you have like a million hours of footage. Now look at this, seamless. I can skim through anywhere, zero issues. It'll be busting. Here we go. Be busting. What the dog? Oh. <laughs> Hilarity ensues. But what if that didn't work for you? So if you press Control and Shift and click the options, you'll have this internal option here. You click, you click, you look at that. And there are two things you should be doing here. Doesn't matter what order you do these in, but I recommend you do Open CL forward slash and set this to false. I seen this is a very common um, fix for crashing alongside just skimming issues, but I think crashing is the bigger priority here. So click off or enter in my case, click apply. And then next we want to type in multi and then press space. And then you want to go for enable multi stream renderer and put that to true and then click apply and you should be set on that front. Now, if you're a bit more patient and you know, you can live with some of the lag and bullshit here, you can select the clips or like, you know, uh, a section of a video on a timeline. If you press shift B, what this will do is render this out. Like as if you just click somewhere, press pause and it renders a frame. It'll do that to a section, which you have selected here, which won't make it as laggy. So you can see it's just going and you can cancel that by pressing space or any other action uh what you could do is and this helps if you know overall if you have issues prior to this point and you've applied these solutions and it still doesn't work or if you're trying to edit like 4k footage and your computer isn't ha you know isn't meant for that or whatever what you could do is create a video proxy go to your project media here and then right click the cl the video file here and right click the video file you have here in said project media tab and what this will do upon right clicking you click create video proxy 
And then, you know, it would look fuck off. Like that shift B uh, thing I showed you not too long ago. It does that, I think. Any clips of this video file will be rendered at like this end. This will take a little bit, so it's like re-rendering a video, but you'll be editing it. But you can also just press cancel here if you want to cancel it. Oh, and make sure you actually don't have like, you don't have like a bunch of dog shit in the background. If you go to your task manager and then open up like, you know, the thing you're working on and then go to um, details, you can increase its priority above normal. So it's, it prioritizes the resources from your computer to it. This is kind of helpful if you have two screens and you want to watch YouTube while you mess around and you're experiencing those issues. But I'd recommend you don't watch videos at all if your PC can't handle it. You see, it's very confusing sometimes when you've built a good enough PC for anyone here. And it just doesn't fucking work. But, you know, Vegas is Vegas. And I refuse to go to Premiere because you know, I'm fucking lazy. And if none of these solutions work for you, what you could do as a final you know, fuck you to this problem is uninstall it. Then reinstall it for any means. Uh, uh, we're not, I'm not going to tell you one. <laughs> After you do that, you go into your app sense here. Uh, in my case, on Windows 10. If you go to the control panel. Uh, security. And then allow uh, apps through a firewall. And go down to Vegas, which will be somewhere in the V's. And if it isn't there. Um, you can add it by click change settings. And add it to the path that it's stored in. For example, this is where it's stored here for me. And uh, you want to uncheck this button over here. And what that will do is it prevent it from connecting it to the internet so it won't update. Because sometimes updates just break applications. So while it's not connected to the internet, it will not update. Which, you know, could prevent it from, you know, having a broken patch. Which, you know, depending on where you got it from, I don't think this is an issue. But I recommend you do it nonetheless. And uh, yeah, I think these all should work for you. Uh, pee pee poo poo, I gotta take a shit now. <laughs>